Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to another video and as everyone knows tomorrow the Oscar nominations are coming out and I am very excited even though I have yet to watch every single thing that is most likely going to be nominated for the Oscars. I still haven't watched Florida Project. That's because it never came to my theater. Uh, Call Me By Your Name, which is at my theater. I just never got around to seeing it yet. Phantom Thread. Um, what else? What else is like must see? There's a few movies that I still need to see, like Downsizing, which I don't think is going to really be nominated for much. Maybe like Best Supporting Actress, but I don't think anything else. Um, but I'm trying to think of what else I need to see. I'm sure there's a few other things. But I am almost there, and I have over a month to get ready because the Oscars aren't until March fourth or fifth so i have i have plenty of time so also i should announce uh expect I'll, I'll say this tomorrow when i'm doing the nominations with me and adrian uh that i will have a top 10 top 20 best of 2017 pretty close to the academy awards i always try to keep those pretty close to the academy awards because that's when it's relevant again so i um, look forward to that it's not gonna be for a little while but i should have top 10 worst movies this week i still have to catch up on a couple movies uh but anyway Speaking of the worst movies, let's talk about the Razzies. The Razzies, of course, a yearly thing, just like the Academy Awards, where they uh, they celebrate all the horrible, shitty, terrible movies, which they've been doing for a little while. And they usually ride the coattails of the Oscar nominations, so it's not surprising that this is out a day before. Actually, I think the Razzies nominations are always announced the day before the Oscar nominations. I could be wrong. I don't always follow the Razzies because... I'm not the biggest fan, but I thought it'd be fun to check this out anyway. So uh, let's do it. Let's check out the nominations, baby. Um, I'm looking at this on Variety.com. I actually, I'm a, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a fan of Variety. I know there's some people that don't like them, but for the most part, when I want to get straight to it, the they don't give me any bullshit. It's just like here's the article, bam. You know, not not a think piece and then the article that I told you it was going to be about. Uh, I'm going to make it just a little bit bigger for you guys. Just so you guys can see. Me, I'm perfect. I can see everything. All right, this headline mystifies me because it says Jennifer Lawrence, Tom Cruise, and Emma Watson among 2018 nominees. I get Tom Cruise probably for the mom, the, the mammy. Um, and Emma Watson, I'm assuming for The Circle. Uh, maybe Beauty and the Beast, but I think most people like that movie. Uh, but Jennifer Lawrence for what? For Mother? I don't know. Anyway, let's check it out. All right, there Wait, Pat, not for passengers, right? I think that's pass. No, actually, I think that's mother. All right. All right, let's go. Okay, here we go. Straight up, we're going to do worst picture. Worst picture, Baywatch. All right, the Moji movie, yeah, obviously. Fifty Shades Darker, okay, the Mummy, and... <laughs> All right, Transformers 12. Wait, no, I'm sorry, 17, The Last Night. All right. Sure. Um, those are obvious. Uh, there's no, no, no 9-11 here, which is easily the worst movie of the year, uh, in my opinion. Uh, 9-11 is, is the, the worst fucking thing ever. And I'm not talking about the actual 9-11. That was also the worst thing ever. But this one, whew. uh, where the fuck this is the, here's a real big question. Where the fuck is Rings? Because Rings was way worse than all five of these movies. 9-11 was worse than all those movies, including Rings. But I kind of get 9-11 because no one saw it. Like, it came out in barely any theaters and no one saw it. It made, like, barely a million dollars. But Rings people saw, where the fuck is Rings? Rings made almost the same amount as Baywatch did, I think. I could be wrong. That, that's probably that's probably wrong. But Rings worldwide made a little bit of money. So w why is that not here? I get they try to pick all the popular bad movies, but Rings was horrible. I'm sorry. Um, I'm surprised Chips isn't here, actually. Uh, alright, well. I don't really care. I, th I think Transformers is probably gonna win, but Fifty Shades Dark, I wouldn't be surprised. Emoji Movie, I don't know. They probably picked the most obvious one, which would be Emoji Movie, but I don't know. Maybe Fifty Shades Darker, just because they want to make fun of it. Just like, I'm pretty sure they picked the Twilight Movie as one of the worst. Um, whatever. One of those came out. I think New Moon was the Razzie pick for that year, which completely makes sense i am perfectly okay with that because whoo baby um oh there's a golden reel nominations i don't really oh for sound okay uh anyway worst actress katherine heigl for unforgettable okay uh dakota johnson for 50 shades darker which is weird because i heard she's like it's a horrible horrible movie series but i heard she's easily the best thing about those movies um 
So I don't know. Jennifer Lawrence from Mother. That's uh, I don't I don't know. The next one. The next one. The next one's good. Okay, but Jennifer Lawrence, I don't get at all. <laughs> I don't get that at all. <laughs> Tyler Perry for Boo 2. Um, uh, well, they must spell Medea. Uh, uh, Media Halloween. <laughs> Tyler Perry for Worst Action. That's pretty good. Uh, oh, my God. Emma Watson for The Circle. Okay. See, I didn't think... I didn't hear anything bad about any of these people. The only movie here I actually really did see was Boo 2. Mother I had completely spoiled for me, so I never watched it because I knew exactly what it was about, so it kind of ruined it for me. Uh, I, I, I think I might still watch it just to see how it plays out, but I mean, I had that shit completely ruined. Um, Unforgettable and Fifty Shades Darker and The Circle I heard were all terrible movies, but I never heard that those actresses were the worst parts or bad or even not so great. I've heard they were like, all right, they did their job, I guess. Um, Tyler Perry, Tyler Perry, I, I'll give him this. He's a performer. And while he might be bad in that movie, when he plays about 14 different characters or something, you could tell he's, he's working with what he has, which isn't anything because he never wrote anything. So what I'm trying to say is that he's not sleepwalking, I guess is what I'm really trying to say. I, I, I don't know They'll probably pick Dakota Johnson or maybe Jennifer Lawrence just to say like, eh, Jennifer Lawrence won one. <laughs> That's the one thing I don't care about the Razzies. They always pick the obvious thing. Like, and when there's so much worse out there, um, of course I can't think of one that's worse than any of these, but that's just because, you know, maybe I'm just a happy guy, you know, that, that's bullshit, but, uh, whatever. Uh, I can't pick one for this one. Worst actor, Tom Cruise, the mummy. Johnny Depp, Pirates of the Caribbean 13, Dead Men Tell No Tales. Jamie Dornan, Fifty Shades Darker, Zac Efron, Baywatch, I don't know. Mark Wahlberg for Daddy's Home 2 and Transformers uh, 17, The Last Night. Oh, uh, that's funny. I, I'll give them credit. The Razzies have fun with their awards. <laughs> They're not going to like just sugarcoat it and say, you know what, uh, Transformers 5. Nah, screw it, but 17, who gives a shit? <laughs> People will probably figure that's probably the number i guess it is 17 i don't know i guess there were 16 other ones i don't even know uh same thing for pirates but uh mm, i i really i didn't watch the mummy but i I've, I've seen all these other ones before besides 50 shades darker so i watched baywatch pirates daddy's home 2 and transformers uh and man johnny depp i can't stand him as that fucking jack sparrow anymore i i thought he was so fucking bad and it's not that he was bad when it comes to line reading, I guess, but he's just so fucking annoying. That character has become, I love Jack Sparrow. You know, you have no idea how much I love Jack Sparrow in that first Pirates of the Caribbean movie. I love that character. And even the second, third ones, I enjoyed him. And even though they became, or his character became way more goofy in those two films, uh, where the first one he's goofy, but he's still, he's still competent. The, I don't know, man. He just becomes a goofball in this new one. It's, it's just way too much for me. Uh, I, I'd i say he should win of these ones. Uh, even Mark Wahlberg, he wasn't terrible in Daddy's Home 2 or Transformers. Those are just bad movies. It's not his fault, really. Uh, I, I, but Johnny Depp, I think it it's partly his fault because his character should have been the one that elevates it from being a mediocre movie to a fun film and he drops it down actually from a mediocre film to a just a one i want to end thank god that was the shortest one of them because i couldn't stand it after a while okay all right see this is this is what i mean worst supporting actor have ha, uh, javier bardem for mother which i heard he was great and and pirates of the caribbean which he was the best part of the movie so right there completely he just they put that there because they had two movies i guess they didn't like that he was also in I guess Russell Crowe for the mummy. I didn't see it. Josh do Hamill who's barely in it. Transformers 17 last night. Um, 17. <laughs> uh, he's barely in it. He really, and when he's in it, he's just like, go, go. Cause he's a soldier guy. I don't know. Mel Gibson. Oh, he's easily the best part of daddy's home too. Come on. Really? Yeah. I would have put uh what's his name? Even though I didn't think he was actually bad, but I thought he was worse than Mel Gibson, uh, John Lithgow, because uh, 
his character became a little annoying. But they did try to add a little bit to his character with his whole wife subplot. I don't even remember. I don't even know why I remember all this stuff. I really don't. Um, because I hated that movie. I really did. It's been like what three months since it came out. And I, anyway, Anthony Hopkins collide, which who the fuck remembers that movie? Uh, they just wanted to put Transformers here, but they were like, wait, hold on. He was also in this collide movie. Let's put that there too. See, that's what I mean. It's just, I don't know. Um, and for Transformers, I, I think they'll probably pick, uh, Anthony Hopkins. Cause I have a feeling Transformers is going to be the big punching bag this year, especially since it didn't do well over here. Um, wait, hold on. What's that say? More news for you. Brad, Bradford Dillman star of compulsion that dies. I don't know. Anyway, I just realized that it was saying that. Um, but anyway, uh, I don't know. I'm getting more and more depressed reading these because it's just, it's like they're not picking the actual bad performances and stuff, I feel like. You know, it's, they're just picking the ones that are so obvious because those movies were like big news at the time because they were either so bad or so controversial or whatever. Like, Mother was controversial um daddy's home 2 just sucked you know transformers just sucked and they, they are some of the worst movies of 2017 don't get me wrong but they were, they, again they were worse like how about the the girl from rings i know this is supporting actor and supporting actress but the girl from rings wait no we did a worst actress already i i don't even know her name but she was fucking horrible you know Whoopi goldberg from 9-11 horrible Horrible. Gina Gershon from 9-11. Way, way, way worse than any of these. I get Tyler Perry. That's a joke. It was funny. I'll give, I'll give him that. And you know what? I, I'd be okay with them putting them there. And if he won of all five of them, which he most likely will just so they can have a joke about it. Like, oh, Tyler Perry, if you want to accept your reward, show up as Medea or whatever. And, and you know what? Tyler Perry seems like a kind of guy that would show up just to accept it. I don't know. Uh, I don't care. Anyway, West, worst supporting actress, Kim Basinger for Fifty Shades Darker. Sophia Butella, who, by, wait, hey, by the way, don't mess with my girl, Sophia Butella. I, I love her, okay? I do. Blade Legs, girl from Kingsman. Um, Laura Haddock for Transformers 17. Who the fuck was that? Was, oh, was that the Professor girl? All right. I mean, she wasn't terrible, but okay. Goldie Hawn for Snatched. See, it's just, it, it feels like they're just picking the... I don't know. She's classic Hollywood. Put her on there. I don't know. Susan Sarandon for Bad Mom's Christmas. I heard she was the best part of Bad Mom's Christmas. It's like they're picking the bet the best parts of these bad movies and like highlighting that. You know why? It's probably because when people watch this show, this Razzie show, or they look at these nominations, they'll be like, "Oh yeah, I remember her from that movie. I, I completely forgot the movie, but I remember that character or that person from the movie." You know, the reason why is because only memorable part i guess whatever uh worst screen combo these are always jokes uh any combination of two characters two sex toys or two sexual positions 50 shades darker all right any combination of two humans two robots or two explosions in transformers 17 i like they didn't put the last night just last night any two obnoxious emojis the emoji movie johnny depp wait what any two obnoxious emojis the emo oh, okay, they didn't space it out. Okay. So, th these are two separate um, awards. So, any two obnoxious emojis, the emoji movie. Then we have Johnny Depp and his worn-out drunk routine for Pirates of the Caribbean 13. Dead careers tell no tales. All right. Um, which, even though I do, I really don't like Johnny Depp in that movie, I, I think the emoji movie is worse. Way worse. Especially, especially that fucking high-five emoji. Like, all the other emojis are annoying. The poop one, whatever. Everybody likes to highlight the poop one. Like, oh, it's an obvious joke. But the high five emoji, which, by the way, I do not like. What's his name? Cornyn? Cord, Cornyn? Corden? Is it Corden or Cornyn? The, the freaking host guy. I I hate him. I hate him so much. That, that Peter Rabbit movie coming out, I can't fucking wait to not see that fucking movie because he's the voice of peter rabbit by the way i read the peter rabbit books when i was a young young boy and and it, it really made me upset to see that he's voicing peter rabbit and also that it looks nothing like the peter rabbit books that i read at least when i was a kid uh, oh and uh tyler perry in either the ratty old dress or worn out wig uh for boo too um I, i'd say they'll probably pick uh the emoji movie for this one but who knows maybe they'll pick transformers uh me i would pick the emojis 
Then second would be Pirates of the Caribbean. Just because, even though I think Transformers is a worse movie than Pirates of the Caribbean, I love the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. Even though the fourth one was definitely so-so. I didn't think it was bad. This is the first one where I thought it was like legit bad. Uh, worst rip, uh, remake, ripoff, or sequel? Baywatch, Boo 2, Fifty Shades Darker, The Mummy, or Transformers 17? The last night. <laughs> it keeps making me laugh. Okay. So... So most of these are sequels. I guess now the mummy's a remake. Uh, Baywatch, I, I guess Baywatch is a an a adaptation. I guess uh, n- nowhere ripoffs here. I don't know uh, why. Why do they keep spelling Medea wrong? I thought they were just doing it the f- like the first time, but they they spelled it right earlier, right right here. They spell it right here, but why do they spell it wrong there? Media. Um, I'm trying to figure out if that's a joke or something because they. I'm assuming Variety just copied this straight from the Razzies post, uh, which I, I guess I should have read this from the Razzies website or whatever, but I didn't because I. Uh, that's just I didn't want to, but um, yeah, it's weird. Anyway, I would say the worst one here for me is uh, probably Boo Two, but I didn't see. I only saw Baywatch, Boo Two, and Transformers. I think they'll probably pick Transformers, but I don't know. I guess we'll see. Maybe Fifty Shades Darker. It, it's really a competition com, competition between those two, I think. Fifty Shades Darker and Transformers. <clears throat> but they also have one more Fifty Shades movie to make fun of, which comes out next month, which I'm sure is going to be horrible. So, I don't know. Maybe they'll make fun of Transformers because it might be the last one. <laughs> it might legit be the last one because that, that movie did not do well. But we also have that Bumblebee, uh, the Bumblebee movie. I can't speak. God damn it. Worst director, all right, well, the first one's a fucking, that's a joke. Darren Aronofsky, even if you didn't like Mother, that was, I'm, I'm assuming, was a well-directed film. Again, I didn't see it. But there's no way in hell. Darren Aronofsky has never made a bad movie, and he's never directed poorly in, in his entire career. So, that one striking off the record book completely. Uh, Michael Bay for Transformers, yeah, James Foley for Fifty Shades, whatever. Alex Kurtzman for The Mummy, and oh, they're, they're picking on The Mummy a lot, too. Um, Anthony Tony Leon- Leonidas for the Moji movie. Well, he might not win, just because, or I guess in this case, lose. He might not win because he's not a big name. You know, Michael Bay is a big name. Uh, even Alex Kurtzman's a big name because he wrote all the Star Trek movies before that. He didn't do the newest one, but uh, he did the other ones, which I love the Star Trek movies. So yeah, I know a lot of people like Alex Kurt- Kurtzman or Robert Orsi. Those are the two guys that wrote those movies, but I love those Star Trek films. So I don't care. <clears throat> and I love the older Star Trek movies too. Yeah. The second one is a fucking badass movie. Uh, Darren Aronofsky. I don't know. They might pick Michael Bay. Like, or James Foley. I don't. I don't fucking know. I'm not even gonna try to guess these anymore. Uh, oh, this is the last one. Worst screenplay. Okay. Yeah. Now we're a real award show. We're gonna talk about screenplay. Baywatch. The Emoji Movie. Fifty Shades. Of, it's the same shit. It's this is the. Isn't this the worst movies? That's the same fucking award. Worst picture was Baywatch. The Emoji Movie. Fifty Shades of Darker. The Mummy and Transformers. Seventeen. You're, you're telling you're, <laughs> you're telling me there's no worse screenplay than Baywatch, really? I mean, it was stupid and bad, but was it that bad compared to some other things that that got snubbed? I, mean, I know that's weird to say for a, a award show like this. I'm gonna go all the way up, but yeah, that, that's not even worth talking about. I want to go up and see the fifth Transformer movie called Transformer 17 the last night in the announcement led the pack with seven noms including worst picture okay I want to see um oh the winner will be announced March 3rd which is a day before the Oscar ceremony of course of course just right right on that coattail baby alright I just want to see real quick I want to see uh leads the way and other snubs alright here we go that's what I wanted because I can't I'm sure there's other movies that I just can't think of right now uh, go after self serious art. If I... Tulip Fever. Yeah, I heard that was bad. The Snowman. What the fuck? Everybody was making fun of that. How come they didn't put that there? Nowhere. Are you telling me the Snowman is is worse or better? I guess. No. Yeah. Better. Better than Baywatch. Baywatch was a watchable film. I mean, it might, might not have been funny or good, but the Snowman was a fucking boring, tedious mess. It was interesting to watch just to see how they fucked it up. 
The first five minutes of The Snowman is easily the worst five minutes of any movie I've seen all year. Easily. That was a horrible film. Anyway. The Book of Henry. Yeah, that's, that's another one. Oh, my God. Yeah, they, they didn't. Nah, I don't know. I, I, I just... I know I shouldn't take these seriously, but these are the only award shows that... That, I guess, not celebrate, but... I guess celebrate bad movies. Uh, but they don't celebrate it. They don't go like, oh, that movie was so bad, I loved it, or something. You know, like, they don't celebrate it. They just mock it, really. Um, but it, it's just an award show. Like, I, don't get me wrong, the Transformers 17 joke really made me laugh. And and so did the, the Pirates one. But, like, after so many years 38 years they're still just like picking the obvious shit if there's a transformers movie we're gonna pick that if there's a remake to a whatever like a mummy or something or last year what was it last year um there was there was a remake of something last year that they picked you know what? let me look I'm, I'm gonna look i don't give a fuck razzie's 20 i guess 2016 let's see it was uh, 50 oh no that that was for the 2015 movies so razzie's 2017 hold on let me bring back the screen for y'all i'll bring back the screen for y'all okay hillary's america that's true batman v superman was one of them yeah yeah yeah. hillary's america actually did win so I'll, I'll give i'll give them that that movie was supposedly fucking atrocious but like all right independence day of course that was a bad movie so i'm fine with that but there was like there was some movies like like let's see gerard butler for gods of egypt and london has fallen okay fine um let's see like the teenage mutant ninja turtles wasn't that bad mother's day art was bad okay shut in okay i'm actually not seeing too many weird ones here maybe it was the year before but there, there was like there was a few nominees i'm just like come on really yeah i don't see anything really weird here so you you get you catch a break here wait johnny depp and his vomitlessly vibrant costume in alice through the looking glass i didn't even watch that you know i was i was not i was not a fan of the original movie i was when i was younger and i saw it the first time i was like oh this is fun and then i watched it again and i'm like Ugh. i watched it again like a year before the that new one came out i was like Ugh. <laughs> it wasn't terrible like some people would say but uh yeah i didn't, I didn't care for it <clears throat> anyway there you go so i don't know maybe the razzies are more uh <laughs> complicated than i thought excuse me <laughs> they pick more complicated horror film i mean horror films <laughs> i guess they, they are horror films for the directors i guess but um uh worse movies than than uh than i thought but anyway there you go either way i'm, I'm a little disappointed with the risings but i guess it was fun time to look at the nominations even though they're all very similar you know Anyway, there you go. I'm surprised they didn't put Michael Fassbender there for The Snowman. You know, maybe, maybe it's just because it was not a high-profile film. It came out, it bombed, and it was gone forever. I guess that's probably it, but I don't know. Anyway, there you go. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. Until next time, goodbye.